love the show. I've seen the first six episodes. Blew oh, my mind. Yeah. yeah so you're ahead of us. Oh. I love that. That's amazing. Right? I stayed up all it. last night. Yeah, that means a lot. We're, you'd be surprised the amount of interviews that you, you do over the course of a career where people don't do their research. So I appreciate the diligence. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that. Thank you. So is your character more than what meets the eye? Yeah, absolutely. I feel like that was sort of part of the reason why I said yes to this. I mean, you want to play someone that makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, a lot uncomfortable. This was by far the most... Uh, the darkest character I feel like I've ever played and there's there's places in myself that I had to open up that I wasn't particularly comfortable with doing uh, but fortunately Rael and the, the people that she hired provided a safe kind of atmosphere to go to those vulnerable places with and I'm a big fan of your work and so I do realize this is one of the darkest characters you have played so with Rael did you feel a lot of comfort having her there and also having Kristen part of the cast as well yeah, absolutely. Any sense of familiarity you can kind of surround yourself with when you go into those places, it's always nice to have. Uh, and we were also shooting up in Canada, and those Canadians, they kind of kill you with kindness as well. We like to think we're pretty nice as Aussies, but those Canadians put us to shame. Um, yeah, look, it was it was dark subject matter, but we're, we're fortunate enough to have cast and crew that sort of are filled with a, li a lot more sort of empathy than... Um, than, was, than I expected. And what we do know about your character is that you have heart, for sure. Um, what can you say about you know the events that happen and what your character has to do with them and how you kind of processed all of that to balance it to make sure you related to this guy? Yeah, I guess that's the hardest thing when, when, it, when it comes to sort of playing character that does have a heart but also has a propensity for some pretty... Uh, let's call it unique violence. Um, you re it's important for me not to demonize him or not to judge him, to sort of come at it from a place of humanity and try and understand the sense and the senseless violence. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I, I did a lot of research, read a lot of different books. Um, there was one gentleman in particular, uh, particular, a doctor, James Garbarino, who his work in particular was really, really inspiring. His work with... Uh, young boys throughout the U.S. was uh, tip top. So yeah, the research that you did, what was it about? Was it about, you know, people in prison? Was it about people in cults or? No, it was why young men turn violent. Okay, interesting. Yeah. And lastly, Jordan, such an amazing young actress. Oh uh, uh, what was it like working with her? And, you know, did you guys have any fun, interesting, either teaching moments behind the scenes either way? Jordan is an absolute force of nature. I cannot wait for the world to see the talent, the beauty, the artistry that she, she exudes. And she's just a, a damn good person as well. Yeah. Um, in terms of anything that I could impart, she, she, al she was always on time. She always beat me into the car, um, always knew her lines, was more than open for any kind of experimentation in the scene. No, she, she's... She's going to be, we're going to be seeing her face and her name a lot. Hey, I'm Ryan Quanton and you're watching MEA Worldwide.